It's your fault that we're trapped here, Spendius. Our time is limited, and all I hope is that you'll die before me. I want to see you let out your last breath like a burst bladder. Are you dreaming? The enemy is solidly camped out on the heights, and no matter what he does, Matho won't be able to dislodge them. Don't count on his help. Leave this sewer? The lack of sustenance has driven you crazy, Spendius. The men are too weak to move and no longer have any faith in you. They won't obey you. There's nothing in this pass. Not one single thing that a human being could eat. by Guzil and burnt by Moloch. I've listened to your wonderful words, Spendius, and now I'm reduced to chewing sandals. Give me something to eat, and I want fresh meat, not carrion or bits of leather or roots. Too bad. If you had chosen to be generous, I could have done likewise. I would give you images, beautiful images that surely have magic powers. Beware, unfortunate one. The cactus you've just picked up is no doubt poisonous. I've seen men writhing on the ground after having eaten such plants. Give me the cactus so I can have a closer look at it. Too bad for you. I warned you. Melkart, meat that is still warm. Thank you, Spendius. In exchange, take these precious images that I found in this room.
away, comrade, quickly. It's time to relieve your fellow soldiers. Go take up your post in front of the general's tent. Despite the ever-present danger, Spendius has a taste of victory. He has survived hardships, escaped the Hatchet Mountain Pass, disguised himself to successfully infiltrate the enemy camp, and is now spying on his enemies, Hamilcar and Narhavas. Listening to their conversation, he learns that Matho's army is camped out at the foot of the Solitude Mountains. It is thus close by, but, as could be expected, in a position where it cannot make any move. His service over, Spendius, pensive, moves away. Matho cannot risk an attack, unless a daring adventurer, having infiltrated the enemy camp, offers him an occasion not to be missed. <laughs> 